A school and a community coming together after a 13-year-old Merced boy is killed by a train. Vicente Mancira was a student at Hoover Middle School, and today his friends and teacher holding a special event in his honor. Our Kirsten Mitchell attended the carnival that celebrated the life of a 7th grader gone too soon. Kirsten. Well, as you can imagine, the students and staff at Hoover Middle School are still coming to terms with the loss. They also held a memorial service this afternoon with Mancera's family, all to show support for each other and to remember the young teen. A school carnival isn't complete without snow cones, good music, and a teacher getting pie to the face. But the price to get into Hoover Middle School's carnival is paying for more than just fun and games. He's the best person I've ever known. It's going to pay for the funeral of one of their own, 7th grader Vicente Mancera, who was hit and killed by a train on May 2nd after school. We used to play football, sometimes basketball. The main thing was our wrestling team. His friends describe him as a good friend with an infectious smile, a Marvel fan, and a skilled wrestler. He was the best. Yeah. Out of all of us. Earlier in the day, Hoover Middle School held a memorial service and one by one gave hugs to his family. I especially like that my students had a chance to hug the family and be able to um, tell them how much they loved Vicente. Students wrote personal notes on biodegradable dove shaped balloons and released them in his honor. He will be horribly missed. I, I could see him as doing really, really well. And I'm very sad that he won't be able to fulfill his p potential. Vicente was reportedly wearing headphones at the time of the accident. Teachers and staff every day reminding students to be safe around the train tracks to prevent a tragic accident like this from happening again. And the school also dedicated a tree on campus to Vicente. They will add a plaque with his name on it in the coming weeks. Reporting live in studio, Kirsten Mitchell, KC24, local news that matters.